This video will demonstrate how to get Melda Production VST plugins working on Linux. I'm using Mint 17, which is Ubuntu based on 14.04. I'm using the Jack Audio Connection Bay called Carla from KX Studio, the Git version. And I'm going to demonstrate the plugins first, and then we'll go over how to get it set up. We have an analyzer plugin that works, and I'm going to send a pulse train of just some CW tones from Morse code. So that plugin works. We have a pitch shifter. That works. Here's a loudness analyzer. That plugin works just fine. So all these plugins are working great uh, on Linux. Let's go over the uh, bandpass filters and the uh, EQ filters. I'm going to show a spectrum here. Then we're going to take these out of line. We're going to bypass them. So I just have a simple EQ filter with a little peak. And I have a bandpass filter here at those settings. The actual tone is about 700 hertz. And if we don't have these plugins, we get a lot of edge noise. Look at the edges here. And then we'll, we'll put them both back on. And the noise is gone. <laughs> so those work really well. We also have a recorder. And I have it set up to record the tones. And I'll demonstrate that real quick. And now that recording should be available immediately in whatever file you choose. And there it is. So that's working great. That's really a handy feature, this recorder from Melda. In the path, you just tell it where you want it to go and name the file. And as soon as you hit record, it starts recording. As soon as you unclick it, the recording's done and it's ready in a file for you. Very nice. All right, so how do you get these on Linux? We're using KX Studios applications to do that. So let's go and I'll show you what you need. I'm using the Carla Git version. So let's take a look at Carla. And I'm also using the rest of these bridges. So all the Carla bridges, and I like Carla's plugins too, but that's the version we're using, the Carla Git. In KX Studio, I also like the default settings. You can download the KX Studio repos, and these links will be in the show notes. And I like all of KX Studio's audio plugins. And the, here's the repos. I like the, the meta wine that he has. And you're going to need wine for this to work. And the scripts, those are very nice. One of the secret weapons of KX Studio is this cadence. It has two plugins. ALSA to Jack and Pulse Audio to Jack. Very nice. Very useful. And you can get that as well. Now when you download Melda, before you do, check your Wine folder once you've downloaded Wine. Drive C, Windows folder, into the fonts, make sure you have these fonts. I did not, so Melda support sent me these fonts and I put them in this folder and, and then I was able to install the Melda plugins. I have the free plugins. And that was very very helpful. So that got it installed. And once you do, you know, go to uh, Carla and configure it and tell it where those plugins are located. Both VST2 and VST3 plugins work. And there's the folders. And there's the folders that you want to Carla to look at. Then to find them, go to Add Plugin and hit Refresh. Make sure that everything's clicked. And hit Start, and it'll run through and find them. Then they're available right in the Carla menu. Also, of course, it will find every other Linux native uh, Linux plugin that's native to your distro and to this KX Studio system. So you have LV2 plugins, Ladspa, and some other things, DSSI. And you can go through here, and there's a lot of other very good plugins available. So let's look at M Recorder, and there it is. 
So as you look over here, you see that we have VST3, 2, and both 64 and 32 bit. And one unique thing about Carla is they all work inside here with those bridges. And I think that's pretty much all you need to do to get this to get Melda Production VST plugins working on Linux. Thanks for watching.